I know it's here somewhere. Finally, finally. Oh, it's time for the duck. You're listening to Dr. Bill, the computer curmudgeon. Ah, oh, take it away, doctor. Well, it's that time again, and the doctor is in. It's time once again for Dr. Bill, the computer curmudgeon. This week we have a little show, just a small one, brief, maybe not so much in it, <laughs> you get the picture. Anyway, we are proud members of the Tech Podcast Network, techpodcast.com. If it's tech, it's right here on Dr. Bill the Computer Curmudgeon. What can I say? Not a lot going on this week. But we are also proud members of the International Association of Internet Broadcasters. Yes, I like doing that, you know. But anyway, the problem with this week, I think everybody went on vacation for the 4th, which I can't blame them. I took off Friday and did much nothing. <laughs> Lots of nothing. <laughs> I actually thought about doing a show, but I didn't. <laughs> So there you go. So happy 4th of July. <laughs> Late. Since today is not the 4th of July. Today is the 5th. Which is the day after the 4th. Just in case you're wondering. Alexa, what is today's date? It's Sunday, July 5th. Sunday, July 5th. See, I can ask Alexa these things. Uh-oh. I used her name again. Have to watch that. She gets testy. <laughs> anyway, so we now have confirmed with that device that <laughs> it is the fifth. So, um, here's the thing. So since there wasn't a whole lot going on this week, the news is a little, a little sparse, shall we say. But Still a few things worth talking about. Cisco is buying OpenDNS. Now let me say this about that. <laughs> OpenDNS is a really cool service. It's free. You basically use the OpenDNS DNS servers in your router, which my router is up there on a shelf. And if you do, then all the computers in your house are using OpenDNS. Now you may say, well, why do I care? Well, here's the thing. If you go create a free account on OpenDNS, like I did, then you can tweak and you can basically set it so that it won't, you won't allow things into your network that you don't want to allow, which is good. <laughs> so you can, you can have control over your network with OpenDNS, which I like. So anyway, Cisco, big networking company, huge networking company, which we use their equipment at... Uh, the place that I work, High Point Regional. And also, I use their uh, UCS systems, which are blade servers. It's a little more complicated than that. Very, very cool blade servers. But anyway, very neat stuff. Very cool technical stuff. So they have decided to buy OpenDNS, which I found interesting. They announced June the 30th, or actually maybe that week. It was Tuesday of that week. The tech giant said the move will accelerate the development of the Cisco Cloud Delivered Security Portfolio. And OpenDNS will prove a boost to advanced threat protection services for Cisco clients. Now my only concern is that I hope that they retain their free service because I've been using their free service and I really like it. So Cisco, please don't take away the functionality that we have for free. Think of it as giving back. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so here's an interesting thing in my next item. A little frustrating. Have you ever heard of Blue Stacks? Blue Stacks, yes. BlueStacks is an emulator, if you will, for Android applications to run on your computer. 
Now, it has existed for PCs for a while. However, now they just released a version for your Mac. Okay. I'll leave it right there for a moment and come back to that thought. You think I'm up to something and you're right. <laughs> okay. Now some news from Microsoft, our next item here. Microsoft Edge, the new Edge browser that will be in Windows 10, which will be in addition to Internet Explorer. Edge is going to be more Chrome browser-like. Thinner, lighter, cooler, more efficient, not as bulky, not as stupid. All those good things, <laughs> okay? Edge, however, because it is stripped down, will not support Silverlight. Yes, Microsoft's own Silverlight, which they used, uh, basically, they created Silverlight to replace Flash, all right? Adobe Flash. Adobe Flash is on the outs, and sadly, maybe not so sadly, depending on how you look at it, so is Silverlight. I'm looking up at uh, the skylight in my room. I said Silverlight, looked up and saw that and went, ooh. <laughs> It's kind of like squirrel. <laughs> anyway, skylight, server light, you get it. Anyway, yes, Fred, they know that I can be distracted. Fred keeps me on my toes. Yes. Not going to go there, Fred. Okay, server light. <laughs> All right was introduced in 2007 as an alternative to Adobe's Flash Player for web-based media. Now, Flash and Silverlight are being replaced by HTML5, which is why Edge is not supporting it. Okay? Now, whoa! That's what I was waiting for, Fred. See, I knew Fred would get around to this. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> As usual, this room with all the lights and the heat is drying out my throat. So I'm going to have to address that somehow. Anyway, as Fred has done the Geek Software of the Week drum roll, the Geek Software of the Week this week is BlueStacks. So see, now, now we've come full circle back to BlueStacks. I set it up as the Geek Software of the Week because I saw that it was free. It ran on Windows and now Mac, as I said earlier, and it allows you to run Android programs on your PC or your Mac. How cool is that? And it says it's free. Yes, but the Game Master discovered today and told me a little earlier that uh, BlueStacks is only free for the first day. <laughs> After that, in order to run it, you have to pay $2 a month. Yeah, or you can download and install certain apps, which I'm sure the apps are paying them and have ads in them and so forth, and that's how they get there. That's how they monetize their program. So it's still the Geek Software of the Week with that caveat. You only have one day to try it out for free. I actually tried it with a game that is designed for your Android device, that's the inside out game. And, you, and it's basically what it is is Frozen Bubble. All they did was take Frozen Bubble and put the little character Joy bouncing around saying, Good job, way to go. Ooh, yeah. Or if you miss, go, Ah. <laughs> Which is somehow very annoying to me. But anyway, <laughs> it was an interesting little game and it worked very well. But I'm a little annoyed that it was supposed to be free and isn't exactly free. Okay? So there you go. Anyway, it's a geek software of the week. It's a it's a little bit of an off week, okay? What are you gonna do? And finally, a little geek culture. Geek culture is this. We we I found out recently that BattleBots is coming back. BattleBots is a show where people create robots that crash into each other and otherwise destroy one another on screen while a bunch of guys act like it's a sport and talk about it. ABC Sports, basically. 
doing that. Well, anyway, there's a video here on the blog. The blog course is drbill.tv, D-R-B-I-L-L.tv, as it says there on the screen. You can go there. You can see the video of BattleBots Episode 1 uh, fights. And it actually looks pretty cool, okay? It reminded me of Robot Wars. <laughs> Robot Wars. I really enjoyed Robot Wars. Robot Wars had Craig Charles that used to be on Red Dwarf. It was It's a British show. It's kind of the British equivalent of BattleBots. Who came first? You know, okay, whatever. I liked Robot Wars. I thought it was awesome. And they had some very cool robots on there. And they had American robots that came over too. And uh, it was very cool. We used to watch that all the time when it was on. So I also put a Robot Wars video on the blog as well. So you can enjoy that. BattleBots and Robot Wars. What more does a geek need? After all, I encourage you to start building your own robots to start destroying things. I actually saw even, I think I talked about it last week. Was it last week? Let me go back. Back in time. Do 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 do. And maybe it wasn't. I don't see it. Maybe I didn't post it, but I did see it on the internet. Internet. Interwebs. Internet. Whatever. About giant robots that people are inside of fighting. Kind of like trans... not transformers. What was the thing that they had where you could climb inside the robot in the video game? Mech Warriors. Yes. I know the Game Master would know. He used to play that when he was much younger. So, cool. <laughs> anyway, they're actually building real ones. And the Americans challenged the Japanese to a fight. Fight to the death of the robot. <laughs> Not the people inside. But anyway, cool. That'll be interesting. It's going to be like a year away before that occurs. So, coolness. Um. So, like I said... A light program this week. Didn't have as much stuff, but it's because it's not my fault. <laughs> okay. It's because of the fourth. Everybody was out cooking hamburgers, having fun, and swimming in the lake. I wasn't, but others were. <laughs> so, that's why we didn't have tech news. But that's okay. One should swim occasionally. <laughs> All right. So anyway, join me again next time. Remember until then that the doctor is out of here. Dr. Bill, the computer for budget, is a production of drbillbailey.net with all the honors, rights, and privileges thereunto appertaining.